Okay, welcome to episode 95 of the Epic Film Challenge. Today, uh, this is actually today now that we watched this film. Now that we're catching up, we watched um, Tintin, or The Adventures of Tintin, or something like that, The Secret of the Unicorn. Uh, this is a great film, I thought. Uh, it's directed by Steven Spielberg. It's animation, it's computer-generated gen computer animation. It's meant to look like real people with kind of a little, you know, like a, just a little bit tweaked towards the kind of cartoonish a little I think like it's not you know they're not trying to completely replicate a human face well they are I don't know it's hard to tell did you notice that what didn't you think that like the the way they animated the characters was like really lifelike but at the same time a little bit yeah of course yeah um, but I noticed how the surroundings look more lifelike than anything yeah. else yeah um, I'm not really <laughs> into Tintin never really watched the cartoon or read the books or anything like that um and I heard someone remark that it's you know it's a bit like oh look here's a mystery and oh I've got a, oh this might mean this and all that and yeah it does get a bit repetitive but that's just kind of the spirit of the whole thing and I enjoy that I enjoy the sense of adventure and imagination in it the anime and the actual animation itself was uh, it's incredible it's the best animation I've, I've ever seen in terms of like life like features and you know acting as well I mean I'm, I'm sure it was done with motion capture I don't know for sure but you know it had to have been really um, you've got people like Andy Circus working on it and actually I've seen a picture of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost in like the suits. Yeah, I remember when. Oh, they were the suits. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. I would have enjoyed it so much more. And actually, I'd, I only realised when we watched the opening credits that Edgar Wright co-wrote the film as well. Who? Edgar Wright. He he made Space, Shaun the Dead, oh, Hot Fuzz, hey. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, well, that explains. Another guy. Who, in it. Another guy who co-wrote co the film was the guy who made Attack the Block. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, about the animation, actually blew me away. Mm. And they do it differently because it's not like before where they actually... They, now they make people act the drawings, if you know what I mean. So it is computer generated and all that, but people are moving and doing the facial expressions. Whereas before, I think, you know the final fantasy movie where they're in space? That one was so like, this is a cartoon? It, we were yeah, thinking yeah. like that, you know? This is anime? You were thinking like that, and I don't think they did that before. Because you can see the facial expressions aren't really there, but it's very impressive. I remember I was so impressed by that movie. <laughs> and now we're to this point, where... They look so lifelike, where you see the hair, every strand moving in the breeze, you can see the light shining off it, there you can is, see um, wrinkles on the people's faces, and you can see all the emotions on their faces as there well. There was actually a shot when they were on the boat, <coughs> and I think Tintin like knocked down one of the like the evil henchmen, and they fell over, and they are on, on their back like, with their mouth open, like, oh, and it looked like a person. Like, just with the lighting and stuff, it looked yeah. real. Um, uh, that, oh, another thing. They even put in dust particles. Mm -hmm. I really like that. They worth, as... worth noting that we watched it in 3D at my persistence. Yeah, uh, that was shit. I enjoyed Luke it. liked it. It's one of the only times it's added, well, not added to a film, but like I felt like it worked with the film. It gave it a depth of feel that I enjoyed, and obviously it's been made for 3D. Avatar is the only 3D movie I've ever enjoyed watching, and um, even that one kind of annoyed me with the glasses and headaches and stuff. I just get a headache when I watch it, and I feel that it's too dark. However, um, I would have enjoyed it a lot more in 2D because at some points in the movie I was just sat there thinking, oh, what's the point of having it 3D? <laughs> the only thing I found had a 3D effect was the bad guy's cane when it came out well that's you know, that's why I liked it because it wasn't gimmicked it wasn't like you know hey look at this coming whoa I would prefer that no, I, I like, like an avatar you have those things and they're like you just want to try and touch it you know no that's cool but I think it, it landed itself really well to the style of the animation I think it worked out <coughs> very well and anyway 
<laughs> I did enjoy it. Just to quickly get to the thing, I thought the story was good. You know, obviously there's a lot of, oh, look, there's a mystery, there's another mystery. But, you know, I think kids will love it. I think kids will go nuts for it. Yes, I would have enjoyed it a lot more as Definitely. a Definitely, but I still really um, enjoyed it. Because some of it just became a bit pointless to me. I don't know. It was like, again, it was dragging a bit for me. Uh, and I'm not saying that because I almost fell asleep. I just fell asleep almost because that's what I do. Okay. Uh, some scenes made me almost sit like this. Like, how the hell do they do that? Like the scene where... Yeah, there was a chase scene near the end in yes. Africa that was amazing. That was like so amazingly good that I, I and I really liked like small scenes like him being in a traffic with the cars and some scenes that they wouldn't be able to do if yeah, it was real exactly. like going under the car and blah 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 and that's when I really enjoyed that it was animated yeah. um, because more, they made more some almost impossible shots if it would be real uh -huh. which made it look even more creative and that's what I really like about these guys, they're really creative, you know what I mean? Okay. And so, instead of just making it look like a normal movie, they make it look like a cartoon movie. They make, well not cartoon, because they wouldn't be that creative with it. But they put the camera angles in places that where they normally wouldn't put them. And that makes you go like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's impressive, you know? You wouldn't expect to see it from that point of view. Um, I think everything was really, really well made. Story-wise, it was enjoyable, but could have been more interesting. I found it a little bit boring here and there. Here and there. Mm -hmm. But w with the animation and everything like that, it was just so brilliant that it didn't really matter that much. Uh, it won't be one of my favourite movies of all time, but it is my... It is the top animated movie I have ever seen, mm -hmm. uh, apart from Avatar. I think, yeah. Really? Um, oh, we probably I could. Wanna I want to give it two ratings. We probably could have saved ourselves a lot of trouble by not starting this whole rating thing. I, I feel like I want to give it a rating for the story and a rating for the for everything else. Well, but just give it, just give it one. Story brought it down, then show that in the rating. No, it didn't bring it down. Some of the. It was just parts of it, really. Well, like, I, I, I like the whole story because that's what Tintin's about. Yeah. I don't know that Tintin's is supposed to be just like a detective series or whatever. Yeah. Um, I personally give it a 7. Do you? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to feel bad about coming in at 8. I give it that because it gets so it's so high up on everything but animation and the creativity of making it. Yeah. It was brilliant. It was very impressive. Well done. Okay. And with that, <laughs> see you later.